One person is dead after an electrical fire inside a senior living apartment building in downtown Detroit. Now that fire comes one week after Local 4 brought you the story of residents complaining about elevators in the building and they weren't working. Thanks for joining us. I'm Karen Drew in for Kimberly Gill. And I'm Devon Fernandez in for Devin Skillian tonight. Now we spoke with several tenants who say they were concerned about being able to get out in the event of an emergency. Now today's fire happened at the Camper Stevens Apartments on Washington Boulevard downtown. Let's get right out to Pamela Osborne. So Pamela, do we have any idea yet how many elevators were working? Well, there was only one working elevator, meaning many of the senior residents who live in this apartment building had to take the steps to get down. And unfortunately, that's where the body of one of them was found. You should have seen them people coming down them stairs, you know, today. You know, it was sad. Catherine Gist was cooking in her apartment on the 21st floor of the Camper Stevens Apartments when the power went out. Air conditioner went out, the stove went out, and I was like, something is not right. She hadn't been there long. Gist tells us she just moved back in Thursday after one of the apartment's four elevators was finally fixed. We covered the problem. Because it's, it's an emergency uh, scenario. Right, absolutely. It's an emergency. Senior residents told us then they had concerns over not having working elevators. Fast forward to today. The alarm came on and it was saying everybody, you know, uh, it's an emergency. Everybody need to leave out the building. An electrical fire prompted an emergency evacuation of the building. So now we've been out in the streets for like about six hours. I spoke with one resident who was able to take the elevator down, but just because I had to walk down 44 flights of stairs. One resident died in the building stairwell. The cause of death is unclear. Two others suffered smoke inhalation and were taken to the hospital. They couldn't move fast. They had to take their time, you know, so it's, it's, it's sad. The property owner released a statement saying in part that they are devastated to learn of the death of one of their residents and are cooperating with authorities to investigate the cause of the fire, which is unknown at this point. As we come back out here live, you can see some of the residents still waiting outside of the apartment complex, waiting, of course, on word that they do have power again. You can see that crews are still here. They're still working on restoring power to the rest of the building. Others took management up on their office went to a hotel for the night, but others, as you can see, waiting it out here. We're downtown Detroit tonight. I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. And I'm sure we'll be staying on top of this. Thank you, Pam.